Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 for students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn mobile app development. This is part 14 in this series entitled Simple Data Binding for Windows Phone 8 App Development using C Sharp. There are several ways to bind data. The easiest way to demonstrate it is for a destination controls property to be binded in a source controls property. The example below uses the text property of a control to be binded in the text property of a text box named tbx1. For our activity, we will first bind the text property of a text block to the text property of a text box. Later, we will bind the text property of a text box to the value property of a slider. Let's create our project. Let's name it up 14 underscore 1. Let's change our title first. F14 underscore one and data binding. Click the content panel and we need a text block and a text box. Let's try to move our text box below. We will name it tbx1 and we'll try to delete its content. The text block, we're going to call it tbk1. So now we need to find the text property of our text block there and we will write here our binding statement. So the reserve word binding we will use the text property from the, the text box, the element name, uh, the name of the text box is tbx1. So that's it. Now we can run it in our emulator. Okay, so here's our app. So let's type something in our text box. And notice that as we type, uh, the data is also reflected in the text block because they are already binded. Okay, to continue, we will now bind uh, the value property of a slider there to the text property of a text box. So this is now our second text box and we will name it tbx2. Our slider is there. Let's put it below and let's make it a little longer and we will name it sld1. So for our binding statement, we need to go to the text property of the text box and write binding. We will use the value property of the element SLD1. That's it. Now we can run it now in our emulator. Okay, so there's our up. So this is our slider and as we move it, notice that the value appears in our second text box. Uh, the decimal part you can remove it by creating an event for the slider. Okay, value change here. What we'll simply do here is that the value property will be round, rounded up. We will use the mat.round method. So we'll use E new value. Okay, let's try it again in our emulator. There's our app. This is slider. Now notice that the values is already, that the values are already in whole numbers from 1 to 10. Okay, congratulations. We just finished a simple uh, explanation of or demonstration of data binding in Windows Phone 8. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.